Audiobook Title Reborn as a Dragon, Chapter 278 The Meeting by Simo This work belongs to author Simo. Source Scribblehub I observed the Lord's approach with a dispassionate gaze, my massive form motionless except for the occasional twitch of my tail. I sense the nervousness and fear emanating from the human, and a part of me feels amused to some extent. A lot of humans have always been so easy to intimidate. I noted the intricate designs and jewels on the Lord's armor, and I wondered if he was trying to impress us with his wealth and power. I wasn't impressed, of course. What use did I have for jewels or gold? My concerns lied elsewhere. As the Lord spoke, I listened with only half an ear. His words were the usual empty formalities, the kind that mortals used to mask their true intentions. I could sense that he was hiding something, and I wondered what it was. I exchanged a glance with my brother, Sidis, and he nodded imperceptibly. We were here to gather information about the Shades and their plans, and we needed to be cautious. I decided to speak, my deep voice rumbling like thunder. Greetings, Lord Arcturus, I said. We appreciate your hospitality. However, we have not come here to seek comfort or luxury. We have come to learn about the state of the world and the invasion of the Shades. We expect you to be truthful with us for the sake of your people and ours. Lord Arcturus nodded solemnly, his expression grave. I understand your concerns, great dragon. The Shades have indeed been a dire threat to our world, and we have been doing all we can to stop their invasion. He took a deep breath, then continued. We have fortified our stronghold and trained our army, but we it has not been enough. We have been constantly losing land. The Shades are too powerful, too numerous. We need allies, and we need them fast. He looked at us, his eyes filled with a mix of hope and desperation. That is why we are grateful for your presence here. We hope that you can help us, that you can bring us the aid and knowledge we need to defeat the Shades. I studied him with interest, noting the sincerity in his voice and the determination in his eyes. This Lord Arcturus was no coward, that much I could tell, despite his fear of me. He was a leader, one who cared enough to take the risk to greet us outside the safety of his walls. Albeit the walls would provide no real protection from us, but his courage was admirable nonetheless. I nod my head, acknowledging his words. We will do what we can, Lord Arcturus, I say. But first, we need to know more about the status of their invasion. What do you know of their plans? And the current state of the world? Lord Arcturus nods again, then gestures for us to follow him. Please come with me, he says. We have much to discuss. He moved to lead, however, he suddenly stopped and turned to us, a frown creasing on his forehead. I apologize, noble dragons and goddess, he said hesitantly. But I fear our stronghold may not be able to accommodate your size. The gates are not wide enough for you to enter, and our halls may not be able to bear your weight. I nodded understandingly, aware of the limitations of human structures when it came to our kind. No worries, Lord Arcturus, I say. We can hold the meeting outside the stronghold walls. The Lord nodded in agreement, visibly relieved. Yes, that would be ideal, he said. I will have my army prepare a space for you outside the walls. As Lord Arcturus and his army began making arrangements, I didn't wait for them, and instead reached out to the earth elements. I could feel the soil and rocks responding to my call their energies vibrating in harmony with mine. With a deep breath, I focused my power, and a low hum resonated from the ground beneath me. Slowly, the earth began to shift and rise, forming a platform that expanded outward and upward. Stone pillars rose to support the structure, and intricate patterns and carvings emerged on the surface of the temple. The temple's architecture blended in seamlessly with the natural surroundings 
and the structure seemed almost alive, pulsating with the energy of the earth manna. The humans in the stronghold watched in wonder as the temple took shape, their mouths agape and their eyes wide. Some of them fell to their knees in reverence. A miracle! They whispered, while others trembled in fear at the sight of such divine power. Even Lord Arcturus, who has seen many things in his life, looked on with a mixture of awe and unease. When the temple was complete, I lead Sidus and Breda to enter it, settling ourselves on the hard ground. Lord Arcturus hesitantly followed. He bowed and spoke. I am in awe at your magical powers, noble dragon. I shall bring my advisers and join you shortly, if you permit me. I waved him off, and he quickly took his leave. With him gone, I settled down. The ground beneath us was surprisingly comfortable and cool, despite its rocky texture. Sidis and Brita sat beside me, their large bodies taking up a considerable amount of space. I took a moment to admire my workmanship. The temple was vast and spacious, with towering pillars carved from the earth and adorned with intricate patterns. You sure have a thing for theatricals, Rita said calmly by my side. At times, the theatrics can be amusing. I replied to Brita with a grin as she stood by my side. It appears you too enjoy the role of a benevolent goddess. I teased her. Brita snorted and didn't respond, from answering, but although her face was as emotionless as ever, I could tell she was enjoying everything just as much as I was. I turned toward Sidis who laid on the ground with a bored expression on his face. What about you, younger brother? He glanced at me and replied, I care little for any of this. I simply want to fight the shades. He sighed, his eyes drifting toward the outside of the temple. You'll get your chance. I smiled. Soon, Lord Arcturus and his advisors arrived before us. They respectfully bowed and I motioned for them to approach before raising seats where for them to sit opposite us. Their faces were solemn and serious as they did. Now, Lord Arcturus, I said, my voice calm and commanding. Tell us everything you know. 